No FAP, Wikipedia article audio. No FAP is a website and community forum that serves as a support group for those who wish to avoid pornography and masturbation. Its name comes from the internet slang term FAP, referring to male masturbation. Founding NoFAP.com Membership Demographics Beliefs Reception and Criticism Notes no FAP was founded in June 2011 by Alexander Rhodes after a thread on Reddit about a 2003 Chinese study that found that men who refrain from masturbation for seven days experience a 45.7% spike in testosterone levels on the seventh day hit the front page of a popular forum on Reddit. Alexander Rhodes appears in the documentary written and directed by Nicholas Tana called Sticky. A Love Story, in which he discusses his findings and his opinions about masturbation. After this, Rhodes created NoFAP as a subreddit forum community on Reddit. At first, NoFAP ran weekly and monthly challenges for a small group of people on the forum, and then the NoFAP administrators created a day counter system. Now forum members set their own challenges based upon their own personal goals. The endeavor is sometimes referred to as fabstinence. Users on NoFAP subreddit more than tripled in number in two years, leading Rhodes to build an off-reddit forum at NoFAP.com and begin other plans to better serve the website's fast-growing factions in Brazil, Germany and China. NoFAP.com is a forum-style website where individuals who have committed to abstain from pornography and masturbation for a period of time can talk about their experiences and engage in challenges to help them recover. NoFAP.com is the sister website of the Reddit-hosted NoFAP community. The membership of NoFAP ranges from atheists, like Founder Rhodes, to fundamentalist Christians. Women are also a part of NoFAP. The users of the website call themselves Fapstronauts. Some correspondents have nicknamed NoFAP's community members as NoFappers. Some self-described porn addicts seek out NoFAP for help, while others join the website for the challenge or to improve their lives and slash or their interpersonal relationships. After abstaining from porn and masturbation for a period of time, some of NoFAP's users claim to experience dramatic increases in social confidence, energy, concentration, mental acuity, motivation, self-esteem, emotional stability, happiness, sexual prowess, and attractiveness to the opposite sex. Some NoFAP users say their brains were warped by porn, at the expense of real relationships. The medical consensus is that there is no harm from normal masturbation practices. According to the Merck Manual of Diagnosis and Therapy, it is considered abnormal only when it inhibits partner-oriented behavior, is done in public, or is sufficiently compulsive to cause distress. In the U.S., masturbation was a diagnosable psychological condition until DSM-2. The American Medical Association consensually declared masturbation as normal in 1972. Masturbation does not deplete one's body of energy or produce premature ejaculation. NoFap hosts a wide variety of different opinions on sexual health, and supports users with various goals as long they are trying to improve their sexual health. Some journalists have criticized NoFap, several after participating in its programs. According to Elizabeth Brown, Neuroscientists have questioned some of the claims made by people on NoFAP. One psychologist, David J. Lay, wrote, 
I'm not in opposition to them, but I do think their ideas are simplistic, naive, and promote a sad, reductionistic and distorted view of male sexuality and masculinity. Behavioral scientists have used statistics gathered from no FAP to study addiction. Robert Weiss of the Huffington Post sees no FAP as part of a tech backlash. The endeavor has also been criticized as generating embarrassing side effects such as prolonged or unwanted erections in men or an excessive libido. However, the German behavioral economist Alex Prodden from the University of Heidelberg conducted a survey which indicated that abstaining from pornography led to subjects feeling more altruistic, conscientious, and are willing to take more risky actions than they did before. His results have yet to undergo the peer review process, so they have not been scientifically approved. The Reddit-based Porn Free group is similar to No FAP, focusing on giving up porn rather than masturbation and mainly on overcoming addiction.